<coughs> I'm, I'm awake. I'm awake. What the hell just happened? You inside. Can you hear me? Power is fluctuating. Emergency power. I'm oh, here. You are in. Good. Thought that might be the end of you. What was that? your friends also found their way here. Knocked unconscious, just like you. Okay. Wondering what happened? You were hit by casino security. Detects anything far, radioactive. It subdues the visitor, moves them if needed. Well, radioactive hmm. might be a problem. Getting interference from old recordings. The guests who were trapped here, shut that noise off. Looks like the casino moved your friends around. What? Why? Might be useful or not. Wonder if they came to help or kill you. Still, my signal should work through the speakers now that you're inside. <laughs> well, welcome to the Sierra Madre in all its glory. Uh -huh. This is what the old world stood for, even with bombs about to rain down on them. Now, look at it. I can't Beautiful rob the coat now, closet. Guests are all dead. Better this way. Quiet. How the Mojave should be. That's morbid. Now, with the casino sleeping, it's got places closed off. Won't let you go yet. We'll get there. Trust me. Just uh -huh. need to wake it up. Well, the speakers are awake. I'll tell you that much. Doesn't seem like much else is awake. Okay. Wake the place up. Wonder if the bar is awake. Is this really the time? It was a joke, Mike. I was joking. But kinda sorta not. Mm. Restaurant, ambient, suites, ambient. Theater control inaccessible, lovely. Restaurant too. And the suites. Computer's more worthless than DOS 4.0. God, it's quiet in here. Casino! It's a... Okay, are you not gonna let me in? This is the past you're walking through. No, it's not. Few have ever seen it. No one else ever will. I wouldn't I go that far. To get here. It'll give me what I need before I leave. And they'll always welcome me back. You say so? Now, uh, look for a way uh, to oh, this God. 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 Remind it. It's got guests. I see you found the good speakers, then. Uh... Alright, let's see if we can move this hologram over to the bar. Okay, good. That's out of the way, at least. Fuck, it is so quiet in here, you can hear a pin drop. Silence is enough to drive a man insane. All things considered, Elijah is right. We're probably the first ones through here in a very long time. I don't find it as interesting as you probably do. What I am wondering is if we could use this new optic lens to pierce through the silence. Fire off a few gunshots to help pierce through the madness that is this deafening... Okay. Don't like that noise, though. Maybe we opt for more pleasant noises besides the beeping. Maybe the pleasant sound of a babbling brook. The quiet whispers of paper rustling or the soft, soothing sounds of pillows rubbing together. You know, I think I just want ASMR at this point. Since when? I don't know. You were gone for a few years, maybe I want ASMR now. You can't do it, even though you're always peeping in my ear. Okay, good. Go that way, you stupid blue fuck. Okay, good. No one's guarding the bar. We could raid it and probably get to... Oh, this is cruel! Even by this place's standards. I didn't hear that, right? He's not coming up the stairs. I think we're good. Hello, sweet, sweet alcohol. I'll take anything at this point. Except fucking beer. 
Ooh, someone wrote down the password. Grumple Stiltskin. That's a new one. The hell even was Rumple Stiltskin again? It's a fairy tale about a cowardly peasant who ascended to power by killing the Dark One and gaining his dark magic. And that's how he becomes Zargothrax, Master of Nightmares, Keeper of the Celestial Flame. No. Eh. You're no fun. Neither is this hologram. These hallways, this place. This whole casino seems to have a mind of its own, apparently. Ugh. And the staff only doors are locked. Taking this toaster. Maybe I'll use it to bash a door open. Or one of the radios. Jesus. I can hear it. Where the fuck is it? Where? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I'm, okay, I'm, fall I'm falling back. I'm falling back. Top shelf. What? Oh, God, it can't be that easy, could it? How did I not see that? God, I'm gonna need these eyeglasses. And the alcohol. Because Proverb 31.6 said, Give strong drink to the one who is perishing, and wine to those in bitter distress. And yeah, I'd count this as a distressful situation. Never heard you quote the Bible. Mom's favorite passage, 21.6, Waters of Life. Mine is 31.6. Waters of Death! What would Jesus do? He'd get sloshed. Ah, uh, finally. I really gotta get that flash drive back so I can just copy-paste. Because somebody took it. We're in. Password was boss, because hopefully this is the boss's computer and we can turn the power back on and get this thing moving. Or it's the goddamn holograms. Next best thing! Now hopefully we can stay out of his way long enough to rob this place. I swear to God, if we get down there and then we realize that they keep all their money in the bank. Well, first I'm gonna laugh at him. And then kill him. Whoa. Never heard you do that. Do what? Skip the reasoning part and go straight to the killing him part. He's a traitor to the Brotherhood and World Peace. Oh no! <laughs> I mean, I mean, traitor to the Brotherhood, oh no, but world peace? Oh, that's, that's terrible. Because, as we all know, the world is so peaceful. There is a general stability. Well, it ain't being achieved by the Brotherhood. And the only reason there aren't any major wars is because all the major countries are gone, Mike. <laughs> world peace. If you could call the collapse of civilization and general anarchy, world peace. Next you'll say, oh, but on the plus side, unemployment is down. Gun sales are helping to stimulate the local economy. And at least the locks on the doors still work. <sighs> ah, here we go. Security office. Take that. Hello, Mr. Desk. What do you have? More sunglasses, apparently. All right, that's a bit odd. And that didn't help. Ah, good! Cigarettes. Which I can use to trade into the vending machine for more coins. Which I can use to trade for things like ammo or stim packs, which is the only thing keeping me alive out here. Now stay together, you stupid thing. Kill for some duct tape right about now. Well, okay, I wouldn't, but someone probably would. The world is full of insane people. You know, because of the aforementioned anarchy. Oh, thank God, the break room. Let's see what we got. Uh, no alcohol, so that's disappointing, but I guess that makes sense. 
These people do work here. Tricking out the job wasn't exactly something that was smiled upon in society. Oh, some 308s, I'll take that. And another one of these, because I can never get enough of these beautiful things. This one's actually perfect. Okay. Would be cool, though, to sling one over each... Oh, right, I gotta deal with you. And here I was talking about slinging automatic rifles over both my shoulders. All right, Hollow Man, let's, uh, let's move you back over to the offices, where you will hang out until the end of time. Or until someone else stumbles upon this place and finally shuts you down like the scum you are. Yeah, that's right. Walk back over that way, you American job-stealing son of a bitch! Speaking of people taking American jobs, there's another one. This is exactly why we had the machine riots. You know about those? I mean, I've been out of the vault for a while now, Mike. I haven't exactly been living under a rock. Okay, you can see up the stairs. Great. I think the power room is at the back of the casino. We're gonna have to get past these guys. Okay. Ow, that is tall. Let's see. Yeah, go up the stairs. Go up the stairs. Okay, okay, yeah, you're on your way. Good. Now go up there and stay up there. Forever! We're gonna have to stealth our way around this next one. All Mission Impossible like. Shouldn't you be quiet? Huh? Hey, yeah, you're probably right. It's a stealth mission. Noise is kind of important. Okay. Electrical. First aid box. Ah, here we go. Look it up. Emitter frequencies lighting up everywhere. Hallelujah, let there be light. More Bible quotes. Damn recordings. Dead echoes in the frequencies. Casino security is shutting down, opening up its vendor and gambling programs in the back casino. <laughs> Still might be something for sale. Oh, yeah? Maybe something can help you now security shut down. After you're done looking around, head to the lobby, and we'll deal with your friends. Friends is a... Mm. Friends is a strong word. Guess I'll go gamble. This isn't the time. He's encouraging it. And look, that's two out of three bars. That's not bad. That's not bad. They are always rigged. They are not always rigged. How do you think casinos make their money? If everyone won the jackpot, they'd be bankrupt. <laughs> but I have a system. You gotta put it all on 31 black. And then just keep doing that until finally it lands on 31 black. Well, I didn't say it was a good system. You're a regular David Walsh. I don't know who that is, so I'm just gonna agree with you. Let's see if the blackjack tables are open. Ah, uh, they are. Very good. How long are you going to keep losing? This time's gonna be different. I actually know how to play blackjack. See that? They even play little claps over the speakers. Uh, so worth figuring out how to play blackjack. You didn't know? No gambling in Vault 101. Damn. But yeah, I figured it out. Figured it out? Trial and error, Mike. Mostly error. Alright, alright, we'll call it at 17. 
17. Now that we're up 17, I'll buy a gumball from the machine outside and, uh, that'll probably be about all I can afford. Hmm. I wonder if the bar is open. This is worse. Hey, you have your priorities and I have mine. And right now my priority is not getting back to work. Anyway, I had a thought. We should try cashing these out. That's how we'll get the money out of the vault. We'll just gamble it all here. There's no one to stop us and kick us out. That is not... A terrible idea, but it would take time. Right? We just gotta get Elijah and everybody else down here, and eventually we'll clean them out! There's no staff on hand to tell us to leave when we start winning too much. The holograms might actually encourage it. Which is probably their entire job, but still! Oh my god, this is a great idea. But it would probably take an entire year, and let's face it, we don't have that kind of time. But then again, how much money could they possibly have? Don't answer that. Uh, here comes our host. Casino's woken up, paying attention to us. Good. Wondering what happened to your team? Yes. Looks like they got moved to other floors. Interesting. Maybe that's why... Oh, yeah, I that. What? Perhaps the casino recognized specific guests, or guests with a voice or look close enough for them to be assigned to that floor. We'll see. Okay. Hoped, with the power restored, the systems would fully awaken. Especially the sound archives. But no. Why do we need them? Your teammates' callers on each floor are interfering with the systems. Uh -huh. It's the white noise filters embedded in their construction. They're blocking the casino speakers, the music. You'll need to recalibrate or destroy each caller. To do that, you need to get close. Reset the signal, or blow their heads off. But, uh... I'll leave the choice up to you. My preference? End them now. They're of no use. After all, it's safe to kill them now, provided you make it quick. Oh? You see, the collars don't work inside the Sierra Madre. Well, between floors. Else, I'd set off the collars. Be done with it. Okay. So find them, deal with them, as long as you're fast and can get off the floor after killing them. The floors, whatever they line this place with, interferes with the collar frequency. So if you kill them, you should have some time to run. Sounds like oh, lead. I'm not sure how long may not be consistent. More or less, whatever. It, it doesn't matter. What we need is in the basement. We need to go to the top first and write our fortunes down. After we deal with your team on the other floors. What those noises I keep hearing? There it is again. I'm going crazy. I hear it too. Not crazy then. Okay. Okay, that is def. Someone's trying to break in, I think. They're not doing a very good job. Well, let's no skin off my nose. Let's get started. Restaurant. Oh, well, this is nice. Hurry up and deal with Boys the FTV recheck. He's of no burn. use to us. No more beef. Hold that thought, Elijah. I gotta shoot out some speakers because he's very loud. Also, it sounds like Dog is back. This multiple personality syndrome of his is really starting to inconvenience us. First, it took him 20 minutes to get out of a cage, and now there's this, and oh my god. That's his regular voice. Is... Hang on a second. Aha. Listen to okay. me. I'm listening. Okay, so. We both Must be a back entrance to the kitchen. Dog Check the main casino dog. side corridors. Don't Find care. it. What about this one? Is it this? No, no, this is locked. Shit. Well, we gotta get in there somehow. He's grappling with the two halves of his brain. 
Maybe we could lobotomize the half that keeps getting in our way. Going to make casino burn. Yeah, that no. half. Huh. I guess the speakers don't work out here. Well, as long as he keeps going in circles, we should be able to figure this out. That's a lot to count on. As long as Dog doesn't win, he won't start setting fires everywhere. Excuse me, sir! I need to get back there. I'm a therapist, and there's a very sick patient back there. First, I'm gonna grab this Radex and this Rebound. I might need it. He could be dosed up to the eyeballs on antidepressants. Right, let's deal with this. That idiot's opened the gas valves. A single spark, or he sets off his collar, the casino's going to burn. <coughs> Us, along with him. <coughs> the gas valves of that idiot will kill us all. <laughs> okay, yeah, you got it. Well, now we know what he meant by going to make casino burn. We'll have to sneak past him. Right. We'll have to actually stop talking. Just me and the voices in my head. And maybe even some sneaky music. <laughs> Okay, that's enough of that. All the gas valves have already been closed. He can't blow up the casino anymore. Which I guess means I could stop talking to myself. And I could grab this whiskey that I spotted earlier. <sighs> okay. Now you. Master. No, not master. Dog remembers you. Left dog in cage. Mean to dog. Now dog. Will kill us. Both, unless you do something. Never felt him so strong before. He won't listen to my voice. He's... He's what? He's... What? Hungry. Come here, or dog will chase you. Break you until you no run anymore. I'd like to see you try, but no. Stay! If you don't, Master will be mad. Master? Don't want Master to be mad. What does Master want dog to... Listen to you. Can't hold him back much longer. Tell him to pull on his chain as hard as... Dog can. What Master wants, Dog can do. Please don't be mad with Dog. Uh... Um... Master needs you to pull on the chain on your neck. Yes, Master. Dog hopes to see you soon. Really, really hard. Now get out! Shit. Before shit, shit, shit. I need this! Goes. Fuck! 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 I gotta get out! God damn it! <sighs> Fucking hell. I thought for two seconds we could actually help him. Haven't seen you like this in a long time. When was the last? Project Purity, Vault 101, The Bridge. Ah, right. Darkest moment of my life staring into the abyss. God! You'd think I'd be used to this by now. We have to keep going. Damn it, I know! Just. Okay. We're not losing anyone else. Deal? Except Elijah. Oh, he was expendable from the start. We end up taking out him, too? <laughs> Fine. Alright. Where's that ghoul who thinks he's Elvis or something?
Well, okay, I wouldn't, but someone probably would. Thank you, mysterious stranger. <laughs>